hi. Another video for you. No Halloween yet uh, that I know of. We're going to wait until July. I know I use. I know I sit in. Usually sit in my purple chair with the. bat curtain behind, but the, not having the cross braces in that chair is starting to take its toll. Um, because I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm being heavier on the chair. I don't, I'm, um, videos at the end of the day, I guess, tend to, I'm like plunking down too hard or something. I heard it, and I don't want the legs to snap. I spent a lot of time painting that. Anyway. I don't usually do uh, Walmart shopping hauls unless it's like Halloween related or something. But I had a few, uh, a few things I needed to get, so I went ahead and picked up some stuff. And like I said, um, try to do. I'm trying to do uh, home, home kind of cozy things for those of you who are in lockdown quarantine still while you're waiting for everything to open back up. So I got a few things. I got some washcloths. They're not Halloween or spooky. But they are a charcoal gray. And there's three of those. And they'll go nicely with the black towels and the skull peacock bath towel that is actually a beach towel. And I got a couple of t shirts. These are $8.96. Uh, it's um, athletic. Um, they're kind of a heather, not real terribly spooky. I wanted a couple of solid or semi-solid colored shirts to wear with my Halloween leggings because sometimes my Halloween and um, sarcastic cat shirts is up. It's just sometimes it's just too much. If you want to wear your Hall either like Halloween or goth leggings with a pattern, and then you wear a shirt like this, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And for the times when you don't want to wear those I've got this and this will also go with a pair of pajama pants I have in here too so this will do like double triple duty and again these are not spooky but it's the same company that made my sushi ones I said I just rolled out of bed this is tea teacups and teapots and sriracha you know I like my hot sauce. So those, got those in a 3X instead of a 2X because it's junior sizes. And this I got to go with that the skull leggings of mine. And this will also, if I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to go anywhere, I can always just wear this with those pants and just lounge around the house as well. And it's a heather print. It's a kind of a Shocking pink, yes, I do like some pink. Um, these are made in Egypt. And um, trying to find the material content. Ooh, polyester and linen. So it's, they're made in Egypt out of polyester and linen as opposed to polyester and cotton. So it's a nice smooth feel. The neck is smooth. It's a nice, nice seam. It's not going to be irritating. It's a no tag tag, tagless tag, whatever they call it, printed. The sleeves on the pink one are rolled slightly. The gray one, oh, they are as well. They're rolled sleeves. So basically, some people, you know, they may feel like working out, and if you, um, wear these, then you don't have to roll your sleeves up. So it's kind of a cap sleeve kind of knot. And since black sheets right now are kind of rough with a white cat, I wanted something that matches the red and the burgundy shades in my room. So I got this. It's a microfiber sheet set in a pool. These will get washed. And then go on the bed next time. 
Yes, I know. I'm talking about being on a budget. All of this cost me $93, which is a little steep, but I needed a new set of sheets because right now I'm using mainly the black. I had the black silky sheets, like some black microfiber that I'd gotten at a different store, but they were so covered with cat hair and cat dander, I just couldn't get it. I didn't have dryer sheets at the time, so I ended up pitching that. Um, sheet. I kept the, full, the fitted sheet and got rid of the full sheet because it was just so staticky and so full of hair, I just couldn't do anything with it. Okay. And then what else do we have in here? Like I said, the fuzzy fuzzy squishies. Here's the cat. I got the tiger, and I've got the cat. I've got a cat, and I'm good. I like the like I, said, I like the fuzzy squishies with the stars in their eyes. The new ones have a rounder, more anime-looking eye, but these I thought I like the way these are cute. Are they're cuter? And the reason I went ahead and did the whole haul was because I didn't want to um, focus on just this. Um, this was the main, the most expensive thing out of my whole haul. I wanted to get the, they have a black cat one. Each one has a surprise box. Each one has a different symbol. And someone was saying on the na 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 um, Facebook that the black cat is a moon. And this one is a square, so I have no idea what I'm getting. So they're basically blind boxes. I don't, the only one I know is the cat is the moon. I don't know what the heart, the square, the triangle are. Or the star. I know there's a unicorn. I know there's a cat and there's a unicorn and some other ones. And I have no idea what's the straw. A confetti balloon unboxing, fashion surprises. Okay. There's a sheet. Uh, inside you have it. Well, I'll read what's in it after. And I may or may not keep the box. I doubt it. Because I've got so many containers already. So we'll see what's inside here. So this should be... This is for the pillow. So we'll open the bag. Oh. The pillow... The, I guess everything is in here. Insert the straw. Insert the straw, inflate, peel, squeeze, and tear. Oh, so the straw goes here. I think. So I'm guessing the straw goes in this little hole in this ear somehow. Okay, there we go. Now we blow it up. Gently squeeze it back to the surprise. And there's confetti. It's little bunnies. And then you open, you cut, you tear up the balloon, tear open the balloon, and pull everything out. I'm wondering if the confetti is which doll you got. 
Here's the palm. And open the little bag. And inside the bag is another container. And inside, it's like a clamshell, it's like Venus de Milo. Oh, and we have, that's the hint. It's a little lamb. We got, oh no, wait, maybe it's not the lamb. Is it a lamb? Or is it the black cat? No, it doesn't, it's gotta be a lamb because it's got round ears. So it's a lamb. We got the little black sheep. We didn't get the cat. The cat is the moon. So apparently, what we got was the little lamb. Our little calf. Let's see. Replace the doll in the palm and add the keychain to accessories. Series one. Let's see which one says she is. It doesn't say. But she looks like a little sheep. Isn't she cute? So, besides collecting the Eevees, <laughs> we're going to start getting some of these, but I'm not going to um, make a big deal of it because I don't want, like I said, this channel is not, you know, I'm trying to make this mainly for adults and teenagers. So, PG-13, 13 and up. And inside the bag we have, she should have some fat little doll, she has some clothes. And what do we have? We have, she's got, oh, because she's, oh, because she's a lamb, she's got a little farm girl outfit. I think. Oh, yeah, it is a farm girl outfit. Little faded, it's a faded flannel shirt. Tied over her little jean shorts. She has a little t-shirt. So we'll dress her up. In her little outfit. I love this hair. Purple is so pretty. And it's not supposed to be a baby doll because, well, babies don't wear bras. It's like, why would a baby have a bra? Just clean up all this confetti. Like, yeah, it's not goth, but hey. She's, they're odd, and they're surprises. And I still want to get more of the Cuckoo Harajuku dolls, too. But they're going to be way more expensive. This was like $18. So she was basically the most, her and the sheets that were actually the most expensive things on this. So there she is, she's a little lamb. Little black sheep, and I have a little purse. I'm not going to hang that on my goth looking Jessica Simpson purse because um, that'll that'll that will make it not look so gothy. Oh, she's got boots. Like Rose from Doctor Who. Little Union Jacks. Isn't that adorable? And there she is. That's the first one in my collection now. Oh, her name is Mina Moody. And what you do, we have a sheet here. And these are all the ones you can collect. You, oh, there's a cat, too. They don't have the black. I guess the black cat's a limited edition because she's not listed. We have Mina Moody, CJ Cuddles, little um, tiger, Brittany Sparkles, Sarah Snuggles, Aubrey Hart, and Roxy Foxy. So these are all the ones you can get. And apparently the... Black cat must be a limited edition for Halloween, so... We will try to see if we can get her around Halloween and add her to the 
Halloween hauls, along with some of the squishmallows that I haven't gotten yet. I haven't gotten, I, there's also the other Halloween ones, there, I believe there is, there's a Frankenstein, I know there's a Frankenstein, there's a witch, um, I haven't gotten those. I already have the black cat, so I don't need another one of him, and I'm getting confetti everywhere. So yeah, we have the, uh, yeah, the, so yeah, I have the black cat and the zombie, and, and I don't, but I don't have the witch, the, uh, the witch of the Frankenstein, and I believe there's probably also, I don't know, what else, I think there might be a vampire, something they have a vampire. Think, unless I'm thinking a different brand. And then there's the Walmart knockoff brand with the heavy paper felt legs and wings and stuff. Okay, I'll just have to sweep that up. Well, that's a another bonus video for you. We have me again. We have a haul for today's Mina Moody from Na 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 Surprise. We're going to try and collect all of these. Like I said, they're not spooky, but like the fuzzy, like the fuzzy bon furry bones, they're unusual. Those are a little more spooky. These are just kind of odd and adorable. So we're going to collect some of those. Um, I may at some point do EB still. T-shirts, washcloths, a set of sheets, another fuzzy squishy, and a nice little bag. A little palm purse. with a hook. It's little lamb ears. So, um, what do we have? Oh yes, um, we've got a DZT poster on the way. Uh, it was recommended by William Wells. So, it wasn't the one original one. I wanted the one that was, uh, book. I drink wine, I drink wine and read books and I know things or something like that. I wanted that one. I couldn't find it. So the one I ended up ordering was a black cat, kind of a chubby black cat drinking a glass of wine. So when I get him, I'm going to put him in a frame and then put him on the door in that way. Um, in the, out the outer exit, outer exit, yeah, the back exit, rear exit toward the balcony. And then the other one I'm going to get, I'm actually going to get the one with the books, because I read books and I drink wine. That's the one I wanted to get, but I, couldn't find it right away so I will eventually get that one but we're getting a different one with a black cat and a glass of wine yes I know I have a white cat but I have a soft spot for black cats I've had three of them and I love black cats if, when we get a house I'm gonna try and get another cat probably a male it's neutered because um, the incident with um, Skitty and Spot who was probably relative to hers because she did wasn't angry and another female being in the apartment. So I'm still finding that to be a bit of a mystery, which will never be solved. But needless to say, the girls had an argument. Nobody was hurt, but Skitty's pride was wounded and she was hiding in the spare room. So another female cat, not happening. If I get another cat, it will be another neutered cat, spade. Neutered males, neutered females, spade. A male, most likely black. Then I'll have a black and a white. It could be like a yin yang or something. So. Anyway, I digress. So, black cat poster on the way. Another one I'm going to plan on ordering eventually. Um, my friend Sim and Tam pointed me toward a company called S Stuffed with Plush, um, which is a stuffed animal site. I might check them out, see if I can find anything spoopy. Um, Plague Doctor is coming in August, hopefully. 